Welcome to Real Recaps. Today, we'll look at a 2012 horror thriller movie titled No One Lifts. The movie opens up with a young girl named Emma running for her life through the forest. She seems to be afraid of something following her. While running, her foot gets cut by some glass pieces but she takes them out and continues running. Before she can arrive at the main road however, she gets stuck into a trap and is left hanging upside down. With the help of a glass piece, she writes Emma lifts on a tree thinking that others will find it and know about her. The scene shifts to Betty and an unidentified man referred to as a driver for moving to a new place. Betty seems sad because she's moving away from her friends but the driver tries to make her understand that that's how life goes on. The couple then stay at a motel for the night. While inside the hotel room they see the news about Emma on TV. The marking that Emma made at the beginning of the movie has been discovered by the police and that six months have passed since the incident. Shortly after, the driver turned the TV off and calls Betty towards him. He asks her to remove the towel that she's wearing. At this moment, it is shown that Better has a wound on her stomach. The couple then gets romantic and spend some quality time together. In the next scene, a rich family is returning home after a vacation. When they reach their home they find a gang of robbers invading their property and taking away their belongings. The leader of the gang, Hogue, asks his gang members to stay aside while he tries to talk to the house owners. The family tries to call the police. Despite the gang leader warning them to stay outside, Flynn, one of the gang members, shoots at the family and kills them. Seeing this, Hogue gets angry at him and pushes him to the ground. He then orders his other gang members to move away from the place as soon as possible. Betty and the driver are checking out from the motel. They pulled over at a hotel named Helen Steakhouse. The driver orders some wine and steak for lunch while Betty orders some salad. Meanwhile, Hogue and his gang members also enter the hotel. The gang consists of Hogue, his brother Ethan, his girlfriend Tamara, daughter Amber, Amber's boyfriend Denny and lastly the violent Flynn. Hogue seems angry at Flynn for ruining the entire plan and asks them to fill up for his mistake earlier. Flynn notices the couple having lunch and approaches them. He tries to flirt with Betty, making the driver angry. Soon Hogue walks over and takes Flynn away, apologizing to the couple and warning Flynn to behave himself. After finishing lunch, the couple continues their journey. Thinking that the couple is wealthy and that they're carrying valuable items with them, Flynn decides to follow them. As Hogue had asked him to cover up for his earlier mistake, Flynn attacks the couple and takes away their car. Seeing this, Hogue again gets angry. Flynn tells him he's kidnapped a couple and left them at a gas station. He further adds that they are to be interrogated by Ethan for their bank pin codes and credit cards. However, Hogue warns him that if he continues to do such stupid things, he'll end him. The scene then shifts to Betty and the driver who are kept inside a gas station with their hands tied to a chair. Ethan tries to threaten the driver by placing a knife at Betty's neck. The driver asks Ethan to stop hurting her but Betty replies that she's made up her mind and can't take no more of the torture. After that, Betty pushes her neck into the sharp knife and ends herself. Upon seeing this, the driver screams in agony and breaks free of his bonds. He goes straight to Betty and finds her dead. Ethan then tries to attack him but the driver dodges his attacks and kills Ethan with the same knife. Elsewhere, Flynn is checking out the belongings in the trunk of the stolen car. While searching for something valuable, he finds a girl inside the trunk. The girl turned out to be Emma, the one we saw at the beginning of the movie. Flynn calls one of his friends to give him a hand to grab the girl. Soon Flynn and Tamara take Emma inside their house and place her onto a couch. Wasting no time, Emma asks them if they'd eliminated the driver. She adds that if he's still alive, he'd come for her and kill each and every one of them. Despite the warning, Hogue becomes annoyed by her words and slaps her. Emma then suggests that they call the police but Hogue is in no mood to listen to her. He just asks Denny to go and take a look at Ethan. Tamara also insists on assisting Denny and goes with him. Shortly after, Denny and Tamara reach the gas station where they kept Betty and the driver. There, they feel something is wrong and Tamara suggests that they carry guns and enter. As soon as they go into the gas station, Denny slips on the blood and falls to the ground. Upon moving further ahead, they are shocked to find the corpse of Ethan. After a while, they load the dead body inside the van and return to Hogue. In the next scene, Amber is explaining to Hogue that the lady they found in the trunk is Emma Ward, one of the missing students who went missing six months ago. Out of the 15 students, 14 dead bodies were found with only Emma missing. 
Emma tells them that the man they have kidnapped is the one responsible for the murders. Meanwhile, Denny and Tamara arrive and inform Hogue about his brother's death. After that, all of them gather and figure out a plan to kill the driver. Surprisingly, the dead body of Ethan which is kept in the shed wakes up by itself. It's then revealed that the driver had taken out all of Ethan's organs and hid inside his body. On the other hand, Emma attacks the gang members and tries to run away but is stopped by Hogue. At the same time, Emma notices the driver from the window. She then tells Hogue that now she'll wait until the driver kills them all. After that, the driver reaches his goods carrier and takes out his weapons. When Hogue goes down to the house planning to kill the driver, he gets shot by an arrow from the driver. Hogue is pulled away by the help of the rope attached to the arrow and Denny also gets injured by a trap set by the driver. Tamara and Flynn try to shoot the driver but fail to aim at him. A bleeding Denny is then pulled inside the house while Flynn makes a plan to escape in their van. To their misfortune, the driver blasts away the van, destroying their only hope of getting away. In the following scene, we are shown Hogue, who is hanging on a metal chain placed over a wood shredder. The driver is holding a chain and torturing Hogue. After some talking, the driver tells him that he's not a serial killer but a psychopath who likes to kill in numbers. He then eliminates Hogue brutally by dropping his body into the shredder. Back at the house, Amber asked Emma about what she thinks the driver might have done to her dad Hogue. Emma replies that the driver will torture and kill him. Then we're shown a flashback where Emma is being tortured by the driver who tells her about what he did with her friends. He also tells her that she'll live, after suggesting Emma tie the wound tightly to stop the blood flowing out, the driver cuts his own throat. It is then revealed that Emma was the one who saved his life. Back in the present, everyone is tense inside the house. Suddenly someone knocks at the door, and when Flynn goes outside to answer it, he finds no one except a bag hanging in front of the door. He then kicks the bag and sees small pieces of Hogue's body dropping out of it. After that, Denny and Amber plan to get out of there using a broken car from the garage. They manage to safely enter the garage but when they try to start the engine, it doesn't budge. Denny gets out to take a look at the engine. He manages to start it, asking Emma to press the gas pedal. While she's doing so, the driver arrives and pushes Denny's face into the car's engine, burning him. Seeing this, Amber gets terrified and runs away into the woods. The driver chases her and attacks her with his knife, piercing her through her chest. He then leaves Amber to die and pursues the others who are escaping in a car. In the next scene, Flynn drops Denny off at a hospital door and drives Tamara and Emma to a motel to spend the night. Flynn asks the motel owner for a room who recognizes him as a gangster. After Flynn leaves his room, the motel owner immediately calls the cops. Later, Tamara is taking a shower while Flynn is thinking about taking Emma to her rich dad and asking for money in return. However, to Tamara's horror, the driver gets inside through a vent and choked her unconscious. Meanwhile, a police officer arrives at the door and asks for Flynn but Flynn shoots him and eliminates him. After this, Flynn tells Emma that they should get out of the motel as soon as possible. When Flynn enters the bathroom to get Tamara, he's shocked to see her strangled with plastic. Suddenly Tamara gains consciousness. This startles Flynn and he shoots her, finally ending her life. Seeing this, Emma panics and tries to run away but Flynn chases her and stops her at gunpoint. Just then, the driver arrives in a police car and hits Flynn, knocking him unconscious. Emma tries to shoot the driver but he manages to dodge every shot. After the gun is empty, Emma runs away to save her life. She reaches a vehicle junkyard and grabs a metal rod. The driver finds her and asks her to surrender. However, Emma refuses to do so and instead attacks the driver with the rod. When she's about to smash the driver's head, he gets up and pushes Emma away. Out of nowhere, Flynn arrives with a shotgun. He fires a shot at the driver and manages to hurt him. But when he approaches the driver and tries to shoot him at close range, the driver attacks him with a knife and throws away the shotgun. After an intense battle, Flynn manages to get back the shotgun. But before he can fire again at the driver, Emma knocks Flynn down and takes the gun. She tries to shoot the driver but fails as she forgot to push the new shell into the shotgun. Impressed by her courage, the driver goes near Emma and tells her that she's free now. He then takes out a knife and cuts through Emma's stomach to take out a tracker. He was using it to track her whereabouts the entire time. After the cut, the driver leaves Emma unconscious on the floor and shoots Flynn with a shotgun. Unluckily the motel owner has seen everything. As a result, the driver is compelled to eliminate him as well. In the last scene, the driver arrives at the hospital dressed like a doctor. He then enters the room where Denny is being treated. 
He whispers no one lifts into Denny's ears and kills him with a clipboard. When he's exiting the hospital, he notices Emma being brought in. We also hear a news report that Emma was kidnapped by a gang this whole time. This means that nobody knows about the driver. Before leaving, the driver approaches Emma and touches her hands. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.